Harry's wife, she's still overwhelmed. Pity play. The world is being very mean to Harry's wife, of course, at the moment. And Fox News reports in an article from Stephanie Nolasco and also from Ashley Papa, overwhelmed Harry's wife fears Palace is only fighting for Prince Harry amid coronation preparations. Of course, Harry's wife paranoia is such that her narcissism tells her they're excluding you. The whispers of the creature as her fuel levels drop as a consequence of the repeated wounding that she's experienced mean that there it whispers to her they don't want you. They're not involving you. You're on the outside now. They only want to look after their own, you know. It's always been like that. Those paranoid thoughts swirl around her mind. And of course, they amount to a threat to control, causing her reality to be distorted so that she believes that it's truly the case. Many of you who have been involved with a narcissist will have been subjected to the paranoid delusions of the narcissist, whereby you have been accused, for instance, and it's a common one, of having an affair when you've not even so much as looked at anybody else. There's no evidence, because it simply hasn't happened. But that hasn't stopped the narcissist from issuing false accusations and accusations out of nowhere at you, accusing you of stealing away and engaging in some sexy time with persons unknown or persons named, even though it never happened. That is because the narcissism has generated the belief in the narcissist that you're playing away from home, so that the narcissist becomes jealous, and therefore is motivated through the application of jealous fury to accuse you of having an affair, so that you respond by confirming that you're not, thus giving fuel to the narcissist and demonstrating that you are under control. The narcissist has no actual evidence, but truly believes it, Indeed, inventing that evidence. And it's the same here. In order to continue to assert control over Harry and other people around her, Harry's wife's narcissism essentially needs to keep her on her toes. And it does so through paranoia. It causes her to believe that people are against her. Now, of course, plenty of people are, but not to the extent that she believes, namely, She thinks that people want to do her down in the most awful of ways, whereas most people would just prefer that she goes away and stays away so that people don't have to put up with her, don't have to endure her nonsensical behaviours any longer. But her paranoia serves a purpose, it does for all narcissists, by causing her to believe that people aren't doing what she wants, that they're out to get her, that they're plotting against her, that they're being exclusionary. And therefore, that prompts a reaction within her, which then acts as a motivating factor to cause her to then pursue that oh-so-important fuel and obtain control. The article explains, Harry's wife is said to be overwhelmed, pity play, following all the negative scrutiny she and Prince Harry have received from their tell-alls, leaving many to wonder if they'll attend the coronation. Now, of course, many people would say, well, if you didn't put yourself out there in the first place, you'd have nothing to worry about, would you? Because nobody would be commenting about you. But of course, remember, she has to have that comment. She needs people to talk about her, because a failure to do so essentially means she doesn't exist. She is defined by the reactions of other people because of the provision of fuel. And if you haven't done so already, I very much encourage you to read my book, Fuel, which you can obtain from Amazon or from the Knowledge Vault. Harry's wife is said to be overwhelmed following this negative scrutiny, and Harry's father, King Charles III, will be crowned alongside Camilla, the Queen Consort, on May the 6th at London's Westminster Abbey. It's uncertain whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend. Harry's wife is upset and overwhelmed, Kinsey Schofield, host of the To Die For Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital. It's not that Harry's wife feels excluded with the planning, she claimed, Harry's wife feels like the palace is only fighting for Prince Harry to attend. Now, of course, that might actually be correct that the palace thinks, look, that's the king's son, and she and he have been very naughty Duke and Duchess of Overseas. But ultimately, the door remains open to him to come back into the fold, but not to her. That's likely to be, of course, as a consequence of their recognition 
that she is actually the problem, that she came along and ensnared the prince, gnashed him with spicy poontang, and thus, woven in the spider's web, was carried away overseas, and therefore, are, therefore since, has been involved in throwing the pelters and general mud at the royal family. He has been brainwashed, and the royal family recognise that. Thus they feel that it's still appropriate for him to be invited, but not her, because she is seen as the catalyst for the trouble that has been caused. Accordingly, Kinsey Schofield believes that Harry's wife feels like the palace is only fighting for Prince Harry to attend, and they don't care whether she shows up or not. And that does not sit well with her. Well, of course it would not do so, because the concept of rejection is one that's not allowed by the narcissist because it's a threat to control. Rejection is one of Harry's wife's greatest insecurities. Well, actually, rejection is one of her greatest threats to control because it causes wounding on various scales. The article continues by explaining, she does not want to be booed or humiliated on a global scale. Well, nobody does, but it's particularly bad for a narcissist because of the threat to control that it poses. Yet she understands that her brand stateside increases in value with her proximity to the royal family. Her brand is only relevant as a consequence of who she married, of course. Residual benefit. The former American actress and her spouse have faced intense media scrutiny following the six-part shit flicks docuseries Harry and Harry's Wife and Harry's explosive memoir, Wah. In January's sit-down with ITV's Tom Bradby, Harry didn't confirm if he would accept an invitation to his father's coronation. Oh, there's a lot that can happen between now and then said the 38-year-old, but uh, the door is always open, the ball is in their court, yeah, there's a lot to be discussed, and I really hope that they're willing to sit down and talk about it. Schofield pointed out that allegedly Harry wants to secure a meeting with the King, 74, and Prince William, so that he doesn't feel iced out throughout the event. However, it is believed palace staff have told Harry, the King is too busy nullification of threat to control posed by the pestering of ginger bollocks. If Harry does attend, I expect that he will feel a sense of loneliness, said Schofield. Several royal experts have speculated that the significant drop in the couple's popularity in the United Kingdom might make them think twice about their travel plans for Charles's big day. Threat to control for Harry's wife and therefore her narcissism will guide her appropriately. It's increasingly beginning to look as if Harry and Harry's wife might well opt out of the coronation, Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News Digital. There are genuine security concerns, to be sure. Is he Irish? And then there is the prospect of the Sussexes being roundly booed, which of course would be negative challenge fuel. Harry and Harry's wife are still licking their wounds over having been sidelined during the Queen's funeral in September. It's highly doubtful that they would be willing to face the prospect of that sort of public humiliation again, particularly on their son Archie's birthday. Archie's birthday has nothing to do with it with regard to the issue of humiliation. The fracture has been seismic, particularly in light of Harry's scathing attacks on his brother in Wah, Anderson shared. Harry and Harry's wife can't possibly imagine that William and his wife, Kate Middleton, will greet him with open arms or at this point even pretend to regard the Sussexes with anything other than chilly disdain. Despite the former suit star allegedly being cast aside, Anderson doesn't believe she will stay behind in California. Would Harry attend alone? Not likely, in light of Archie's birthday, and the fact that Harry and Harry's wife have to put up a united front. Also, of course, there is the necessity of him continuing to be subjected to the need for control that she has over him. But once again, we have here, through this article, the attempts of Harry's wife following her mauling in South Park to issue a pity play, both in terms of feel sorry for me because of what they've done to me, and also feel sorry for me because they're trying to get Harry to turn up to the coronation, but not me, and that's not fair. The problem that Harry's wife is that the sympathy that she once have engendered some years ago is in very much short supply and therefore her pleas fall upon increasingly deaf ears. Nevertheless, it's the method by which her narcissism operates that she continues to try and elicit sympathy. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.